Um, so my name is Caroline Ledbetter, and I'm going to speak to you about um, how incorporating the R project templates um, can help you uh, standardize and automate uh, your workflow. So why R project templates? If you can automate something, you should automate something. Chances are that you, when you do R projects, you tend to, either you as a person or as your organization has a standardized file structure, readmes that you like to put into it, maybe you always set it up as a GitHub repo, all of these things that are probably unique to your workflow or your organization, um, you can um, set this up to do that automatically for you um, every time. And if you are an organization and you set this up, um, it ensures that everybody is following the same stuff, which helps you in the future. Um, so what do you need to set up your own R project templates? You need an R project. They have to live in an R project. This can be just a simple internal project. Um, it can live on GitHub. It can live wherever your uh, R projects live. You need a template metadata file and a template function file. And I'm going to show you using our internal CETA tools package um, what those look like. So I've highlighted them here. Um, so your, uh, your project setup DCF is your template metadata. And newproject.r is our template function. And I'm going to demonstrate how we, how, we pers or how we as an organization use this functionality in ours. So we have the CETA tools package. All of the code is available on GitHub. So after this talk, if you want to see exactly um, all of these steps, you can see it there. Um, so for us, we do a lot of scientific research with um, an, an academic center. So we have principal investigators. We have analysts. We have a uh, GitLab internal server where we usually store our stuff in Git. So you can put all of this information in here. Um, and some of it is optionally stored in a, uh, a DCF file so that it can be uh, referenced in headers and in snippets. Um, and so you don't have to keep putting in that information for each project in. And it also gives you the choice of uh, getting your repo started. Um, and so this is just an example of what the, uh, the template metadata looks like. It um, uses widgets that are very similar to uh, Shiny, if you're familiar with that. But you can see right here, you know, from the previous screen, we had the principal investigator um, option. It does not have a default. You can decide where it goes and in what order and what its label is and stuff like that, what kind of input it is. And then this is um, our, our project setup function, um, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. So all of those um, parameters that you set up in the previous screen are passed through the dots argument. Um, so you access them just like you would access other dots arguments through a function. And our studio has a fantastic um, how-to guide of how to set these up. The website is there. Um, if you want to check out our repo and see um, exactly how our stuff is laid out and how that might apply to the way you'd like to um, set up your R project templates, um, the repo is led by CC to tools. Um, and then the slides for this will be up on my website probably tomorrow. Um, you can reach me at carolineledbetter at yahoo.com and you can find me on GitHub and Twitter. <laughs>